Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik, continuing to monitor for the possibility of some more winter weather heading our direction as we get into the course of the rest of the weekend. We're seeing some possible flurries moving into the Mid-South this evening. Another possibility of some snow showers as we get into around tomorrow afternoon and evening. And then Monday, the possibility of even more chances of snow, and this time some more significant, measurable possibilities of that as we get into the course of the next couple of days. We'll detail more about that coming up in the forecast in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, again, this is our vi exclusive video weather blog called Weather Overtime, trying to keep you updated in sort of a video magazine, video blog format, uh, your schedule and your convenience to where you can keep track of what goes on around here. More information, again, at our website, wreg.com slash weather, which you can see right here. And of course, if you got any questions or anything else you'd like to know about, you can contact me at this email address, at austin.onic at wreg.com. Rest of the weekend, again, could have some snow showers into it. We're not seeing too much of a major problem, again, with weather for right now. The main thing we're looking at for tonight is slick conditions across much of the area, and the National Weather Service and the authorities out there urging caution. We'll be talking a little bit more about travel in the Mid-South coming up here in just a little bit. If you've never tuned in here before, again, if you can't stick around for the whole forecast, that's great. Go Just take a look at the blue bar scrolling down at the bottom of the screen and you can follow along with the information scrolling along there. And here's the forecast in a nutshell over the course of the next couple of days. Drop your location, and if you've got your weather reports like Amy Pruitt, 27 degrees in Navarre Beach. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Thanks a lot for the uh, weather reports in this from me in from there. And if you've got a thermometer outside the kitchen window, put that to good use. Let us know what the temperature is in your location, and we'll try to fit those in as we go along at this point in time. Temperatures tomorrow back around 32 degrees. Again, not much warmer than that. Hopefully enough sunshine to kind of break up some more of the ice, but that'll be sticking around pretty well through the rest of the weekend. Now, we should be making the lower 40s around Martin Luther King Jr. Day on Monday, but unfortunately, following that into the evening hours, we're going to be seeing more possibilities of snow developing late Monday evening into early on Tuesday. And that could be our next significant amount of snowfall coming down. Doesn't look like a blizzard situation, but it does look like something, again, we need to monitor, which is what you should do with the forecast all the way on through at this time of the year. Uh, Carolyn D. Watson, how are the roads from Memphis to Little Rock, Arkansas? You can check more at idrivearkansas.com. That's from the Arkansas Highway and Transportation Department on that. Most of the roadways are doing okay. The major roadways are okay. Secondary streets in suburban and around residential areas. Anything with a lot of trees or buildings in it are going to have a lot of slick spots out there. So you may be traveling along on some fairly dry roadways and then hit some decent icy patches out there. Extreme caution is recommended out there if you are traveling. Roads are passable. It's just those slick spots out there, especially on curves, bridges, overpasses, and again where there's trees and buildings to shade the ice that did not melt and evaporate earlier today. That's going to be the main problems, again, into later on tonight. So keep it tuned for more on that as we get you for some traffic situations coming up here in just a little bit. View from Germantown, Tennessee, Poplar Pike and Germantown, the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall, the water tower north of Germantown High School this evening, and temperatures remain very cold out there, 23 degrees, northwest winds at 7, so wind chill of 15 degrees degrees in Germantown at City Hall. The view from West Memphis, Arkansas, I-40, I-55 travel at this time, and right down around Missouri Street, you can see again the ice around the parking lot areas, around Burger King, back toward McDonald's, and into the area close to Kroger. Lots of ice seen into this area as well. Now again, traffic on I-55, I-40 moving along, but in the glare of the headlights and the street lights, you can see very easily that we've got a lot of that ice still remaining on the median and also in the breakdown lanes. So something to think about there. Now we've zoomed in really close. This is Poplar and I-240, Poplar eastbound here, Poplar and Pi or pardon me, uh, Poplar eastbound here, westbound again up on the other side, and the Park Avenue overpass there. The entrance ramp from Poplar to 240, you can see plenty of ice still in those shaded areas right around the entrance ramp, and also plenty of ice right around the medians and the breakdown lanes into and around the area there. 
and we're going to continue again to see the potential for more of that throughout the rest of the evening. You can see again plenty of that sleet and snow in and around portions of the rest of the Mid-South area on the roadways. And notice again that several areas like right here, again, it's dried off a little bit, but there's still a lot of ice and snow on either side, which is going to make slowing down for an accident or an emergency something you need to pay attention to. If you're going to be stopping out there in the next couple of days while the snow and ice is still on the ground, you're going to have to plan ahead and keep a very close eye on the roadways at this time, so just be careful there. Now, Storm Tracker 3S radar into the Mid-South immediately is not showing anything in the way of organized precipitation. We are seeing several thousand feet up, a little bit of some snow showers making their way on through, and this is, again, so light that a lot of this is not even reaching the ground, so as this drops on through, through parts of northwest Tennessee, the Boot Hill, and northeast Arkansas. It's a good possibility we're not going to be seeing much of anything out of this. Matter of fact, most of this is probably in just the form of the moisture up around portions of several thousand feet in the clouds. So there's not a lot being detected immediately here, but we could see a snow flurry or two up until about midnight or so, and that's going to be about the main thing out there. Temperatures tonight live, real time on your side weather from WeatherNet 3 across the area. Again, we've got temperatures back in the lower 20s. Combine those with the breeze out there, and that's what it feels like. And it's pretty raw out there for this evening. And it was this morning, too, with temperatures going below zero in some locations out there. Morrow, Arkansas, 25 and clear. Gale Broadway, thank you very much from that. Thanks to everybody else for checking on in. And thanks to everybody uh, for checking with your locations and your comment sections. Again, with the uh, reports, 22 in Burleson, Pam Dellinger Russell. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And everybody else checking in for this evening so far from in the Mid South. And if you're out of the Mid South, again, let us know where you are. Pat Harwell, 19 in Jackson, Tennessee. Not looking down my nose at everybody, but two point typeface and bifocals don't work too well. So I'm doing my best to focus in on what I've got. If you'd like to access this information, all you have to do is go to this website, wrhg.com slash weather, and find out more about the weather bug system there. All right, let's run the numbers into the rest of the evening and show you what we've got going on through News Channel 3 at 10. Temperatures back into the mid to upper teens to mid to upper 20s. Tomorrow morning, lower teens to lower 20s across much of the area, and winds continue out of the northeast at about maybe 5 to 10 miles per hour. Less breezy than today, but definitely nowhere near calm either. Now, tomorrow morning, back to the west of us, we've got a little bit more moisture coming on through. And so that by late tomorrow morning, could be the possibility of a little bit more in the way of snow showers slowly sneaking their way into the area. Southeast Arkansas, northwest Mississippi, Coahoma, Panola counties into that area, uh, around Quitman, southern Tunica, right down around Clarksdale, south of Tunica, Helena, West Helena, around Marvell, and then back toward Hughes, Arkansas. You can see some of this activity, Forest City, win into there, and then that's going to try to drift across the Mississippi River into around northwestern and north central parts of Mississippi. Some of that might make its way into around West Tennessee and northeastern Arkansas. This is not going to be much of anything. If we do get anything out of this, it's going to be a dusting as we go into tomorrow afternoon. So there is going to be the potential of at least some snow showers into and around the Mid South area. Patsy Ann Cooper, 21 in Oxford. Thank you very much uh, for that one and for everybody else checking in at this time. Again, locations and weather reports if you've got them in the comments section there. Now into tomorrow evening, it should dwindle again, looking toward about dinner time. There's not going to be much left of it. And toward about News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday night, temperatures remain pretty chilly. Now into around Monday for the holiday, for all the groups going out there that are going to be going out to make the Mid-South a better place, making it a day on for service to honor the memory of Dr. King Jr. and or again to just make the rest of the Mid-South, cleaning up trash, helping an elderly neighbor, whatever it is you're going to be doing. It looks to be dry for most of the day. Now, this computer model is starting to move in the moisture a little bit early. I think it's going to wait until about Monday evening or so. Again, that possibility of snow showers early showing up there, but as we go into very early Tuesday morning, that possibility of more snow showers makes its way across the Mid-South, giving us the potential for more of those snow showers coming on through as we get into Tuesday morning, right about the time the kids are heading back to school. And as you're heading back to work, again, could be looking at the potential for some more problems in that area there. Jerry Bear Malone, 25 in Corinth. Thank you very much. Michael Farmer, 21 in Decatur, Alabama. Feels like 9 degrees. Very balmy there. 22 in Hernando. Michelle Abus. 
Abascado Sanderford. Hope I'm not slaughtering that name too badly. Latasia King, 21 in Holly Springs. Thank you very much for that. And thanks for everybody for checking in throughout the rest of the area. Now, what exactly are we looking for? Again, let's do this rundown and give you an idea as to what's going on. The next best potential of any snow showers is going to be coming up late Monday into around early on Tuesday. It's going to be windy. It's going to be very much on the colder side. And late Monday evening is when we've seen the possibility of anything involving the snow showers really starting to develop and coalesce in the Mid-South area. Timing is going to be, again, flurries for the most part Monday evening through about midnight. Snow potential will be greatest midnight through about 6 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And then throughout the rest of the day, sort of a gradual, slow clearing is going to be taking place. But the snow could stick around in the Mid-South in some form and lighter fashion as we go into Tuesday evening. Now, how much are we looking for? Right now, it doesn't really look like a lot. There is going to be the variation of this. Right now, it is technically way too early to tell about what's going on in the way of amounts out there. But for the metro area, it could be anything between about one to two inches. North of I-40, about an inch to an inch and a half. Not expecting too much south of I-40, but there is still going to be that potential of getting just enough on the roadways to really cause some problems out there. So again, anything between about a half an inch to around two inches, that's kind of the variation right there. Now, again, for those of you who are saying, well, why can't you forecast exactly what it's going to be in my backyard? Well, that'd be nice if we could do that, but unfortunately, we have to kind of paint a very broad picture with this and give you an idea as to what we're going to be looking for over a larger area. Your neighbor down the block could get maybe two inches and you may not get anything in your backyard outside of a dusting. That's the way these storm systems work. They don't, again, do anything specifically on a point-to-point -point basis. So you're always going to see variations in the numbers as we go throughout the forecast on here. And keep in mind that these numbers will be changing over the next couple of days, up or down. The closer we get to these events, the more we're able to nail down what's going to be going on and, more importantly, when. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 on that, and we'll keep you updated on that. 24 degrees in Pontotoc, Mississippi. Angie Gregory, thank you very much for that. Henry Smith, 19 in Jackson, thank you very much. Uh, 24 in Pope, Mississippi. Margie Cosby, thank you very much. And Keith Williams, 21 degrees in Moscow. John Ross, 21 degrees in Brownsville. Thank you guys very much uh, for those reports at this time. Now, again, we'll have more updates on this coming up throughout the rest of the weekend. We'll have a little bit better idea as to what's going on through tomorrow, starting on News Channel 3 Daybreak. So we'll keep you updated on that. And again, just keep in mind, because these numbers are always going to be fluctuating up and down to give you an idea as to what goes on. Now, tomorrow, starting off partly cloudy to mostly cloudy through the day. Late during the afternoon and evening, we could see those snow flurries begin to dwindle, but we could see again some dusting of precipitation out there tomorrow. Now for the holiday on Monday, about as warm as it's going to get is in the lower 40s. At least that wasn't the 30s that we saw a couple of days ago. Should be mostly sunny for most of Monday, so that looks pretty good. But starting late during the afternoon and evening, more toward drive time and sunset afterwards into around News Channel 3 at 10. Everything changes over to snow, and that sticks around into Tuesday. That also escorts in a lot of cold air, so temperatures on Tuesday will be some 20 degrees cooler than what we saw on Monday. And also seeing, again, some pretty breezy conditions out there from time to time. Snow showers will be dwindling as we head toward Tuesday as the really cold air settles back on through. Temperatures by Wednesday morning, at the bus stop for the kids heading back to school, temperatures will be back in the single digits. And there could be, according to the National Weather Service, with the breeze going on out there, could be the possibility on Wednesday morning of wind chills below zero at times. And we're talking about some dangerously cold weather out there for kids to be waiting at the bus, or bus stop or for you to be outdoors without any proper protection. So please keep that in mind if you're going to be heading out the door on Wednesday. Should be mostly sunny there and then warming up nicely as we go into the end of the weekend. Temperatures by the time we hit Saturday back in the mid-50s. Could be a chance of a scattered shower in there around early Sunday morning, but that's going to be about all. And then dropping the temperatures again as we head into next Tuesday. This is just one scenario. 
couple of models are holding us a little bit milder in here, but because we are about 10 days out, this is more of a suggestion at this point more than anything else, and we'll keep our eyes on the changes that are going to be taking place as we go throughout the course of the next few days. Saltillo 23, Laura Churchill, thank you very much. Joanne Maggio, hope I'm saying that correctly, from Fort Smith, Arkansas, 29 degrees, by old stomping grounds there back at KFSM, so thank you very much for tuning in for that. 21 degrees, Munford, Pamela King, and 13 degrees for a wind chill. Wow, pretty, pretty chilly out there for right now. And 23 degrees in Horn Lake. Samantha Sultan, hope I'm saying that right. And with bifocals and two-point typeface, I've got the feeling I'm probably messing up a few names out there. You think with a name like Onik, I would know better on stuff like that. So thank you very much for putting up with that. Nicole Neal, 24 degrees in Memphis. Thank you very much on that. Let's take a look at some of the snow pictures from out there over the course of the last couple of days. Jacqueline Stafford picking up a nice view from Finley, Tennessee, of some ice-covered roadways out there. Highway 104 West in Finley, Tennessee, still a skating rink and a very nice, I'm assuming, sunrise shot from out there. So thank you very much, Miss Stafford, for sending along those pictures on Twitter. Nice view from East Memphis from one of our former producers, Miss Joan out there, 901 Joan, walking the dogs on a very cold and snowy Friday morning. So thank you guys. Thank you, Joan, uh, very much for that. Memphis underscore Tom, view of some snow flurries coming down in and around the area of Hernando, Mississippi, earlier this morning. And a nice view from Jessica Cake 22 of uh, just a little bit of sun and snow showers mixed together uh, into and around the area for early this morning and again seeing a couple of snow flurries again possible tomorrow we'll be talking about that in the forecast coming up later on tonight Shelby Anderson does it supposed to snow Monday yes late on Monday 23 degrees in Brownsville Mary Jackson thank you very much watching from Jackson Tennessee Susan Matthew I hope I'm saying that correctly uh, Priscilla Harris, 23 degrees in Senatobia. Thank you very much for that. 25 in Blytheville. Rhonda M. Bracken Young, thank you very much as well for that. And also thanks to everybody for saying good evening across the area. If you've got pictures you'd like to show on here on our netcast or when we feature them on News Channel 3 on our newscast, please send them along to me. Those snow pictures were great. We'd love to see more of them. We put them on all of our social media networks out there on my Instagram page, Facebook, and also on my Twitter feed at A underscore WREG3. So if you've got pictures, we'd love to see them, but we can't show them until you send them. You kind of see the problem going on. So again, let us know a little bit more about what you see out there, and we'd be glad to post them online for what goes on. Catch my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3, and also stay tuned for my forecast bright and early Monday morning with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live and throughout the rest of the week at 8 o'clock in the morning. If you can't catch the signal because you're out of range of AM 730 signal, dial them up on the internet at talkbacklivenetwork.org, and a great opportunity to find out more about what's going on in the Mid-South area where it comes to sports, great guests out there, community events, stuff like that in there. So a good opportunity to see more. Paul A. Dreamer, Pecola, Oklahoma, snow. Not to my knowledge, but that's a little bit farther out of our viewing area than what we cover, but uh, we'll take a peek at that and see if we can bring you up to date a little bit later on. Uh, can Kenrick Duncan, do we expect icy roads Tuesday morning? There is always going to be that possibility of leftover ice and snow on the roadways over the course of a storm like what we had, so it is possible we could see that out there. Also, if we get enough snowfall on Tuesday, we could see the potential of maybe some more icy conditions out there as the cars drive over that snow several times and mash that down from snow into ice, so that could be a possible problem there, so we'll keep you updated on that. Thank you very much. Good question there. Kimberly Green Little, 25 in Enid, Mississippi, uh, 23 degrees in Horn Lake, wind chill of 14. Garrett Hayes, thank you very much uh, for that one, and thanks to everybody else for checking in. Let's see, 21, Kathy Craig in Ripley, Tennessee, thank you very much uh, for that. We'll have an update on the forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. It's going to be on the late edition tonight for the football game going on tonight between the Tennessee Titans and the New England Patriots, so we'll be on a little bit late for this evening, but catch my complete forecast coming up tomorrow morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak, and we'll keep you updated on that. And stick around for more throughout the rest of the weekend about our next chance for snow as we close out the holiday coming up on Monday. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, a meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks to everybody for joining us for our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 online for weather forecast at wreg.com weather. And more throughout the rest of the weekend with News Channel 3 on air and online.